We start with ABC political director Rick Klein, who is joining us. He is the man, the expert of all things politics, and it is good to see you, my friend. Happy Election Day. Happy Election Day to you as well. So let's talk about the young people, the young voters. That's an important block, packs a lot of power. What are the top issues facing them? Yeah, we had a poll in the field just in the last couple of days with our partners at Ipsos, and we asked voters, what, is, uh, what are the issues that are very important to you personally, that matter to your life personally? And you can see the big ones, inflation, 69%, the economy, 67%, education, close behind it at 62 percent pocketbook issues these are things that actually matter to people in their everyday lives and here's something interesting we also asked in this poll which party do you, do you trust more to handle these things and you see a, a slight republican edge on issues like the inflation the economy the democrats with an edge on education but those numbers at the bottom are what are fascinating to me those are the number of people that say actually neither party has the right answers and among wow. younger voters look at that 42 39 38 that's Four in ten younger voters who say, you know what, I see what both of the parties are offering, but I don't think I'm buying an, e either side. And that's an opportunity and it's a challenge for candidates that are looking ahead in 2024. So this bottom line, does it spell trouble for both parties? It, it sure does. And in fact, if you look at how people match up in, the, in, in this election, that is exactly who they're going after. The people that right now are saying, I may stay on the sidelines, I may even vote third party if I, if I don't like what the parties are, are offering. I'm curious what these young people, which candidates they're drawn to, and how that impacts the dynamic of this election. Yeah, so this is from a poll from a week ago from Quinnipiac University, and they asked the basic, do you support President Biden or do you support former President Trump? They're the likeliest matchup, the likely nominees. And you can see among younger voters, Biden, a two-point edge. That is a big problem for a Democrat. You've got to win that by more like 20 points if you're going to have a chance in a general election. And keep in mind, it may not just be Biden and Trump on the ballot this Year, you could have third party candidates that are also running. And look at what happens in the numbers in this poll if you factor in Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Cornell West. 31% of younger voters, 10% of younger voters for Cornell West, 31 for, for Kennedy. Now, look, this may or may not hold. This may just be younger voters parking their vote somewhere as they hear more from both parties. But that is a lot of frustration with the two major parties. And, and when you look at how this, this election is playing out, we're going to have a debate tomorrow night. It's not going to feature Biden or Trump, the two men who are pushing 80 from opposite sides. You're going to have instead a bunch of younger voters uh, or younger candidates out there, Vivek Ramaswamy, who's a millennial. Uh, you're going to have Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley. All of them are talking about generational change. That's even the, the rumblings in the Democratic Party. All of that adds up to some real pressures that younger voters are exerting. And Rick, the, you're already talking about the general election, which is a year away. But today, what are the big issues that you have your eye on? I assume abortion is still one of the top ones. Yeah, that's a huge one. And, and take a look at, at the state of abortion rights today in America, because this map that we're seeing right now could change based on today's elections. The green states are the states where abortion is widely legal and available. The red states are where abortion is banned. Orange and yellow are, are somewhere in between. And there are four states in particular that I'm going to be watching today. Two of them have governor's races, one of them in Mississippi, another Kentucky. Kentucky actually has a Democratic governor who's campaigning against his state's outright abortion ban. Ohio is fascinating because you've actually got a ballot initiative there that would establish abortion rights as part of the state constitution. If that doesn't pass today, you could see a six week ban on abortion going into effect. And then Virginia, that's probably the one that I've got my closest eye on today, because right now the Republican governor is looking to flip control of the state legislature. If he does that, if Republicans have full control of the state uh, of the state government in Richmond, that means you're likely going to see a 15 week ban with some limits enacted in Virginia. As of now, Virginia is the last state in the Deep South where abortion is widely legal and available. ABC political director Rick Klein, thank you so much for being Always here today. Always good to see you. Thanks, guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.